and I'm very honored to be in Wikipedia and also the Food School for ending this. And all of you uh, from Turkey, and I'm sure you are not from Turkey, where are you from? From Liberia. Liberia. Mashallah, it's very cool. Oh, West Africa. <laughs> okay, it's Liberia. Okay, my hope, my intention today, inshallah, is to share with you how I have traveled through my intellectual life. From my first degree as a chemical engineer from Leeds University, England, to my PhD in industrial microbiology. I didn't do master because I jumped. At that time, they had a jumping situation, so I jumped from first degree to PhD. Alhamdulillah, I managed to complete, and uh, together with my wife, because I was now also here in the day, uh, we both got our PhD. And uh, one child before our PhD. During PhD two child, after that six months, so we are nine. Okay, that's from the last. Five uh, girls and four boys. Uh, the eldest is 34 years old, also a lecturer. She has a PhD in uh, hydrology from Nottingham University. So I'm a very old man. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Now, let me begin. What I want to share with you is how I have come to understand uh, the job of the learned man. The learned man, the man who discover or who, who thinks or who realizes that we have something. And inshallah, I want to share this. Uh, first, let us look at the topic or the title. Your job is to connect the subspaces. And tell a story in the thesis. Or tell a story in your manuscript or publication in general. The more clear, the clearer your description of the interactiveness of the subspaces, the better is the story. The clearer is the story. You have a fine tune. Yeah? So you're going to pick journals, uh, quarter one, then quarter two, if you uh, unless. So it is about the understanding of the interactiveness of spaces. Yeah? Right. Now, come to implementation technology. Define implementation technology. You must begin with a definition. Everything. If you don't define, somebody will define for you. You have a big problem. Because it's important to think the epistemology of knowledge is from their root of the generation of young, of knowledge. So you define. After you define, then you, you translate. How do you do that? You define and you translate and then you do interpretation, that's here. And then you become you become to a position where you know more than normal people know. And this is in the hierarchy of knowledge. I 
Hierarchie und ist bei Hierarchie H I H I I A C H E H I Hierarchie of knowledge. Yeah? You have the Yuvabi. So you go up to better understanding to become the Mutari. Yeah? Then you go up to better understanding to become the Mutari. I will explain to you. Then you go up to better understanding to become the Mutari. Yeah? And then you go up further to understand to become the higher <laughs> money. Expert. Expert? Yeah, English, but this is Arabic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, yeah. Because the original language, the original book of, of Turkish language is Alif, but this is Arabic. The romanization of the Turkish language is, is, is later. Huh? Just like Malay language, our language of Uruk is Alif, but uh, but the romanization came later and they introduced A, B, C. So this is in the in the tradition of the book. Yeah? What is this? This is the highest. Ali. Ali? Ali is here? Ali is the one who Mukhtakli? Uh, this is the spiritual sense, <laughs> but what? Mashallah. <laughs> this is the, this is the, <laughs> this is professor, yeah? Associate professor, yeah? <laughs> Assistant professor. Uh, no, uh, senior lecturer, young lecturer. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the hierarchy of knowledge representing the hierarchy of maqam or level. Level of understanding, not level of anything, level of understanding of knowledge. So I am presenting to you today a structuralist approach towards the understanding of the title as written via the four domains that define the adapt to help you focus the space that you have to develop. This is what I want to share with you. And I share with all my masters and PhD students, and they'll be very happy of that. I hope you'll do it as well. With this technique, inshallah, when you take any topic, you will be able to dissect it. And you will be able to say, this is the subject, this is the predicate, this is these are the keywords, these are the values. Ali goes to school, has no value. Ali rushes to school, has a higher value. Ali rushes to school that is on fire, has a higher value in meaning. To explain the position of Ali in relation to the fire, in relation to the school, in relation to the connectivity of Ali and the school and the fire. The last sentence. Ali rushes to school that is on fire, belonging to their family, has no meaning, has no value, because they are connecting more dots, dot to dot. That is your job. When you draw a straight line, Dot to dot, coordinate to coordinate. But if you give me a 
straight line like this? I don't believe. Because it cannot be like that. It can only be like that. And you draw the best straight line. But you don't do that. It does not mean anything. You are looking at the, at the pattern. The pattern of idea. The pattern of existence. The pattern of being. The pattern of what is it and not what it is not. Therefore, if you use equipment, HPLC, GC, GCMS, all this expensive equipment, you can move that. That's all. But it's not going to change the general pattern of existence. That the phenomenon functions on a straight line basis. That's all. The general understanding of the law of existence of that process is governed by a mathematical equation for want of a, a language, the language of mathematics. And you call it y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient, c is the intersect on the y axis, and y is directly proportional to x in that manner. So you have another idea to understand what is in the unknown. Tell a story to your friends and to your people and to those that want to listen. And the listening is in the heart, not in the brain. The brain is psychomotor. The heart cannot die. It is the seat of knowledge. Therefore, it is the seat of learning, and the seat of yearning, and the seat of now. This is there, not here. So now, we have come to an important point to define knowledge. Define knowledge. Last one. On the left. This one. Follow the structure because the definition must follow the structure of an atom. The definition must follow the structure of a sentence. The structure of a sentence is subject plus predicate plus keyword plus gender. Define knowledge. That's right. Knowledge is. <laughs> we have to make dua. Dua is going to get married soon. Inshallah, you will have a good marriage. We get the bread. Knowledge is knowledge is knowledge is information wrong. <laughs> because the subject is wrong. Knowledge cannot be information. Huh? The subject is wrong, so forget about the predicate. The subject must be right. Yeah. Knowledge is, or knowledge is defined as. Knowledge is correlation of information. Correlation is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Because correction of information has another meaning. Not about knowledge. Sorry, like from Nigeria. What is your name? Jackson. Jack. Jackson. 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 As in Michael Jackson. Moon <laughs> <laughs> walking. Yes, Jackson. Knowledge is. Oh, 
Acquiring very near. Very near. Acquiring is about here. Knowledge is acquiring of information. Acquiring of what? Wrong. <laughs> because information. That is all structure. Okay, specific data. Specific data is information. Data. This is another one. Sorry? Maybe not the power. Sorry? Power, power. Power. Oh, knowledge is power. <laughs> knowledge is knowledge is power is the outcome of that. Yeah. Power is the outcome. This outcome, yeah? Let me get it. Sorry? Awareness. That is the word I'm looking for. Action. Awareness. You are aware. You realize when you realize you are aware. Therefore, you are a knowledgeable man. You are aware of the heart. You are aware of the knowledge. You are aware of the living. I am aware that there is a you see, I don't I don't know. I am aware. I am a man who is aware of this environment. I have to be. Then you become one of this. The degree of awareness is extensive and intense when you are emotional. You know, you feel stimulated, you feel excited, at times you feel intoxicated by your awareness. This is the degree of awareness that is 100%, yeah. 99%. Yeah? It's not in Bodhani, Bodhani, The awareness here is also very high. But the impact is at low level uh, transformation of information. Complex information that is in the world of the unseen, you need those two people. Let me tell you. This is a base of water. What is this? Yes. How many percent? One can get them five percent. But here, yeah, you cannot see. Ninety-five percent you cannot see. And yet you say you are going to work. You don't even have enough information to help you decipher what is in the unseen. That is why the Titanic was brought down. Because they made big, wrong assumptions. Big, wrong assumptions. The Titanic camp was sunk by the iceberg. Because they, they moved into the area of understanding the unseen from a position of arrogance. They refuse to submit to what they do not know. And they assume they know. When you assume you know, but you do not know, then you will be lonely. <laughs> you will make people astray. That is the fitna. 
of development. That is the limit that we have to understand. What we do not know, it is not a crime to say, I do not know. But it is a crime if you say, you know, what you do not know. It is, it is a crime. It is a crime that people like us who are lecturers are very frightened of. And you have to caution us if we say more than the limit of knowledge. Okay? Now, so knowledge is awareness or realization of time. This is the subject of the predicate. Awareness of something. Yes, 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 yes. So predicate are something to describe the subject. The more you describe, the more comma, 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 the more you will be giving the best information, the complete information. The Arabic word is wow. Wow, 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 and, 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 this is the structure, and I am just following the structure of the, the text. And it gives me a very strong understanding. I can, Alhamdulillah, speak about politics, international relations, business, marketing, history, because the structure is the Yeah? Whether it is from the digital technology, industrial biotechnology, Nanotechnology, nanobiotechnology, it's the same. These are field of research or disciplines. Compartmentalization of knowledge. It is something more manageable to become a faculty of art and science, faculty of education, so that you can manage better. Yeah? Okay, now, information. What are information? There are four domains of information. First, you must possess the information. This is with you. When you want to use it. If I don't have this, I have a big problem because there's nothing there. I have mapped out my kulia, my, my, my uh, lecturer, lecture, based on this. And I make a map, intellectual map, where I should stop, where I should go into the new area. I have written something I've given to Bora, uh, so inshallah you will get this, this uh, note. Yeah? Now, you must possess information. When you want to write a paper, when you want to write a journal, a ministry, a report to your lecturer, if you don't have the information, what do you do? You cry. Of course you cry, because tomorrow you have to pass out. So what do you do? You go to the internet, Google, 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 you cannot find it. <laughs> you ask your friend, hello, 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 what are you doing? Go on the TV and try. I don't know how to go about this. Tomorrow you have to submit, so you must possess the information. But not the information, you must possess the, the uh, description of what you want to know. Say the definition of, of the keyword. You don't know. So you want to know. You look into the dictionary, you look into everything, uh, uh, Google Translate, uh, you want to know. Then you must be able to use the information. It is not, uh, it is not something in the language that you do not understand. It is not a secret thing. In Malaysia we have the OSA, Official Secret Act. Information that uh, under OSA you cannot use. Uh, or information that will uh, create problems in the in the in the society you cannot use. You see? So you must be able to use that information. And it must be relevant to the topic. If the information you have or the description of what you want to know has no value to the topic, then it is not information worthy of your uh, interest. For example, can I talk about the convenient technology here? 
No, I cannot because it's not in the in, it's not in the field. Yeah? Can I talk about metagenesis? Yeah? No. Can I talk about the uh, nanobike idea? No. You see, the title gives you the, the field, the scope, the keywords, the value, the subject. It's just moving. Yeah. And lastly, the information that you have must be accurate. Yeah? If you read in the paper, someone today, thirty percent uh, of people in Istanbul are illiterate. Thirty percent, inshallah, so many. What question do you need to ask? When you see that, you must ask how many temple? Mm -hmm. The mathematical basis of coming to the percentage. This is Kaida. If they say 100 people, so okay, 30 is only 30 people. Okay, who knows? <laughs> this number is 30 people. <laughs> yeah? And you ask another question. If the sample size is say 1,000, ah, very good. But you must ask, what age group? If age group is 60 and above, then it's okay, no problem. If they are illiterate, they are illiterate when you use the Romanized word. But if you use the Arabized word, they can understand. So it is about understanding the value. Okay? Inshallah, with this, I will now uh, describe one more. Uh, important point for you to move on forward. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows objectives is a word, very important word. What what would be the structure of objective? You see, the structure of information, for you must, you must possess it, you must be able to use it, you must be relevant to the topic, to be accurate. Yeah? What is the structure of all objectives? Five. Suggest so one, one component of the five. It will be correct. It's just that you're very shy. <laughs> huh? Sorry? You have to think about it. Think very fast. It's important. You can think so. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I have to call only names that I can uh, remember, but I don't know the name. Anyway. You want to... You, you have an objective. What should be the... The component. Repeatability, no. Sorry? Accuracy, no. You want to have accuracy is in the domain of uh, information. So, okay, tell us. Specific. You must be specific about what you want to achieve. I want to be a professor by the age of 45. But if you say I want to be a professor, but I want to be a professor, who <laughs> stop? Yeah. I want to be married by the end of December 2015. But if I want to be married, to stop, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. And did you say another date? No. There is no specific, it's playing around. It's not being very serious. Yeah? I got married when I was uh, 23. Yeah? Yeah? I got married when I was 23 years old. 
I said, oh, okay, I finished with my better life. <laughs> I found somebody that my heart go boom, 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 boom. It's okay, okay. <laughs> 53 years old, I got married, and alhamdulillah, yeah, I'm now 58 years old. I'm now 58 years old. Okay? My wife also 58 years old. You can see her, she would be walking about that. Today she went to buy books. Specificity, one thing specific. But they never see. They are really near university. Yeah. It's not to become something that is that is not yeah, not not clear. It is the stronger. Measure the things. You must be able to measure. Yeah? What is the size of the nano capsule? How many comes from? What is the size of the micro? What is the size of the bioreactor? What is the size of the uh, instrument that is required to support the bioreactor? Okay. All these questions will be very easily answered when you know what to ask. Problems with many of us, equally me, is that I do not know the question to ask. If you don't know the question to ask, then how can you get the answer? All my students, masters and PhD and alligator, come to see me on the final time with a paper, not empty, written. Question number one. They write the question. Possible answer. Give me the answer. Question number two. Possible answer. Nice. Oh, question number one. Good. The structure is correct. The subject, the predicate, the keyword, and the value. The answer, answer is very good. Eight out of ten. So I comment. I comment on the question and on the answer. Very easy. Now I will have to be in Malaysia to address my master's students because they send my email and WhatsApp. Email and WhatsApp, I, they give me a question, they give me an answer, and I comment. MashaAllah. Within one minute, I can answer that everything. Because they have the question to answer, I think. They come to me with thinking, with ideas. This is very important for you, and I hope you will do that. Make your lecture. Make, make your life easy, make your life easy. And remember, for every lecture, you have two or three questions and answer and comment. Yeah. And you develop a database question, answer, comment, question, answer, comment. So this can share it. And so finish. Okay, measurability. Achievability. It must be achievable. You know it is achievable. Your lecturer will say it is achievable. This project cannot be achieved until November to zero one. We know it. We know it can be achieved. To further the project, we need more uh, ideas, more formation of ideas in the framework that we will have to come up with. This is the beginning of this framing of ideas. Framing of ideas. I am framing it with the idea, with the center, with the subject, with the predicate, with the keyword, with the value. Do you know the value of this idea? What is the value of this idea? The value is always in the predicate. By your field production. What is so valuable about it? It will be an alternative for fossil fuel that is diminishing in supply. Yeah? And it is renewable. And it is green. It is uh, non-pollutant in its nature. 
and it uh, easily transform, transferable to industry and to community requirements. We can develop a prototype of biofuel production unit to be sent to Yemi uh, Bosna or to be sent to many, many areas. Yeah. So, achievability, you should know. Relevancy must be relevant to the topic. Objectives that you want to achieve. And lastly, S M A R T smart. If you have a smart objective, then you will know whether you can achieve it or not. Because you can be very specific about it. I want to produce biodiesel, not bioethanol, not bioethanol, not biohydrogen. No bio no, 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 just bio very specific. But the bonus is, because you understand the fermentation of production of bio now, this is the Mahadi and the Moshe Kodo, you also get A, you get E, you get H, because it is a classical analog fermentation to produce the bio so the principles of fermentation technology for biofuel production is all in this space. If you know how to get it, and I'm going to help you get it. Separate, uh, look at it from the structure of the world, of the sentence. Then objective is like that. If your objective statement does not comply to SMART, then it is not an object. It is just a hope. It is just something that you conjure, something that you feel. It is not something that can be scientifically and mathematically uh, measured or evaluated or monitored. Therefore, you cannot do optimization because you don't know. Yeah? Okay, and in order to further strengthen the uh, ability to understand objectives, you must have you must have another three domain to uh, capture in your deliberation. For every objective. You must have objectively verifiable indicator. What did you measure? What you measure? Did you measure temperature? Did you measure pH? Did you measure internal activity? Did you measure uh, photoviable count? Did you measure uh, enzyme activity? Did you measure heat? Did you measure productivity? Did you measure, 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 measure? What did you measure? <laughs> yeah? And what is the this object? After you have described it according to this structure, you must objectively verifiable, verifiable indicator. Hmm? What is the indicator for the comfort of this room? Temperature. How did you measure the temperature? <laughs> no thermometer. <laughs> yeah. But then maybe there is a, a thermocouple somewhere. So this is instrumentation, not a problem. Don't worry about it. But you know where to look at for it because it is demanding you to know. OVI. The definition of, of, of objective you must measure. And 
means of meditation, how to give that to What type of meditation? You have a chat recorder? The equation of the chat recorder? Yeah? And people are not going to sleep. If it is too hot, you are covering your like neck. Last night you were able to sleep because you are watching TV too much. You are not going to sleep. <laughs> or the, the lecturer is, uh, you know, is so boring. It's not a very thing in my heart. That's where it is. That's a problem. Means of meditation. How do you meditate? Your, uh, your boyfriend asks you something. How do you meditate? Is it just because on Valentine's Day you should give you a big trouble? <laughs> <laughs> How do you meditate? Means of meditation. How do you evaluate this sincerity? It's feeling. Because all those are in Alam Hai. All those are in unseen. How do you meditate? This is a big challenge for researchers. You must have the means of validation of objectively verifiable indicator. If you don't have that, you don't have it. It is why when you submit papers to the journal, they will question you about this. It is in the materials and method section of your thesis writing. Most people will fail there. And if they fail there, they will cry because You've got to go back to the lab and do it. Because this is the data. Now, this is very important. Assumptions. What did you assume that you may be able to achieve this object? You may assume that you have an equipment to measure a certain size of particles. You assume to be in contact with them, but you go around the left, no. Or it is either that but it's not working. Yeah. So that's assumption. And you will fail because your assumption is wrong. So now, in order to understand the word, like what we understand knowledge. Knowledge is the awareness or the realization of the meaning of existence, of the phenomenon or the reaction or the material that you are looking at that will give you an insight into its kinetics and dynamics at a particular time and space. <coughs> The definition of knowledge. Now, we must define assumption. Because I will say to you now, most objectives are not met because assumptions are wrong. They did not pay attention to the assumption. Therefore, they cannot achieve. Assumptions are important factors in achieving your objectives, but those factors are outside your control. We are assuming to be very comfortable here in this room because the electricity supply is on. We make that assumption that there will be no trip. But if there is a trip now, what do we do? We go out in the shark. So assumptions are factors that are very important to the success of achieving the objective, but outside the control, outside your own control. Okay? Any questions, please? I'm going down now into the details of the topic. Are you excited about the topic or are you feeling very tired and sleepy or, or very excited or you want me to repeat something? What I have presented so far are uh, important 
and tools of thinking to develop ideas, to realize and be aware of the limit of your ability, to take note of the boundaries that you are operating in. Where are you operating in? You are operating in space. The space is defined by your title. Each space has a boundary. The boundary can be made of many, many materials of construction. This I will go today. Specific form of commentation. Any question? Okay, we can start now. Is there any question? Are you okay with time? Are we okay with time? Okay. We can take five or take half an hour or take one day if you like. <laughs> okay, this is the first of five lectures. This is the first lecture to give you the overall picture, the conceptual framing of your ideas. After this lecture, two, three, four, and five will be interactive session. At the end of five lectures of interactive session, inshallah, you will have a beautiful story. And you will present this story to us. And you will evaluate according to the structure. And you will feel happy with it. Because it is something that comes from your heart, not from your brain. Yeah? When it comes to the heart, it is pure. It will be intoxicating to those who, who are exposed. This is a feeling of love on the subject. Yeah? It is like the feeling of love for, for your mother. You love your mother more or your father more? <laughs> <laughs> I told my children, I told my children, I told my children, there is no question about it. You must love your mother more than your father. Yes. Because your father does not know anything to deliver you into this world. He does not know anything. Even before delivery, during delivery, after delivery, the father came out of anything. He goes out and put him by the uh, and he by the road, he come back, oh, okay, okay, okay. You see, you must love your mother more than your mother. It's very important. I don't know, but I don't know children, please. <laughs> because the mother, his job is more important than the mother. What is the job of the father? Um, they want to get married. Protect <laughs> 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 the wife and the family. You see, the most important job of a man, the primordial most important job of a man, is to protect the woman in society. Very important. If the man doesn't need a job, Big problem. Who would? Yeah. Okay. Now we, we go into the, the topic. Principles. I think this is a problem. Yeah? This is the discussion. Fermentation technology. Let's take this word first, fermentation. Define. First step. Define. 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 Tari. Okay? First step. There is no definition. <laughs> Try. I know you are very sharp, but we are amongst uh, talent, amongst students. Yeah? And we are here to help you. It is in your heart, I know. 
But from the heart to the brain to the mouth to the world, it is a complex situation. It demands a lot of uh, strong conviction. And do not fear of making a mistake when you are a student. Just say it. It will be wrong. <laughs> Just have a job. Okay, definition of fermentation. You know, or you go back. That's okay. It means something left you. Because you read or you knew, but it left you. That's why you forget. Why do you forget? You didn't read it or you didn't do it. There's no answer. There is no uh, exercise. Yeah? If you do it, do it, do it, then you will remember. You say, I'm not referring to any of those. Because I love the subject, I always remind myself. I always uh, challenge myself. Uh, what is about presentation that I can, I can do better? Uh, I can help industry. I can help community. You know, I can't drive. You know, man? I can't drive. I go to the field, I will take pictures of them. What, what does a fermentation man or a chemical engineer do in the rice field? What's coordination? There are a lot of coordination. I am planting organic plants. Free of chemicals. Free of insecticides. I am empowering. You see this entrepreneurship? I am empowering the farmers to become independent of the water chemicals. Because I am teaching them through fermentation technology to produce their own biofertilizers. To understand the interactivity of the plant of the rice, the microbes in the soil, the nutrients in the soil, and what we can put into the soil, and the flora and fauna of the rice field. Inshallah, we get 10 tons per hectare. Normally, they get six or seven times with important chemicals. You see the value of our work. It is so, so important. And it is contributing to food security. It is contributing to food safety. It is how you frame your ideas. It is how you write. How you tell a story. That's the James Bond film. <laughs> yeah? So, Definition of fermentation. To produce something for energy now. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good attempt. I'm not going to say wrong right now. Because we are going, we are not into the domain of practicing. I cannot censure. It is wrong for me to say no, no, no. Just now, yes, because about definition. So, who can improve on that definition of presentation? Is it a process of bringing down? Yes! Why I say yes? Because the word process is the subject of the definition. You see? I have written a definition, let's say you were read about it. Yeah? Fermentation is a process. The word T-I-O-N at the end of an English word always refers to a process. It is the structure of the word. Correct? It is a process. So the subject is a process. What will be the predicate? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Fermentation is a process. It's a metabolic process, you are keeping a checklist in the process, very good. It's a metabolic process. To convert sugar to acid and gas. MashaAllah. You're very clear. You want to improve me? I just say, this is the way to do it. You're right now. We write down definition number one. 
definition, definition number two. Somebody has to give definition, definition number three. You go into the structural uh, expression of the definition. Yeah? What he has given is a detail, a bit, very detailed. We're talking about production of acid, production of this and that. That is uh, expression of definition, translation of the definition. Yeah? I define fermentation as a process that is in the time space domain. Anything, any existence is bounded by time space. Any existence. If you change the time, it changes. If you change the space, it changes. That is the dynamism of existence. That's why you have kinetic energy, you have dynamic motion. Everything is in motion. When you study, you are taking a unit time interval. That's why in mathematics we have integration. That is X and Y axis telling me a story. The story is the rate of change of biomass concentration, dx, in that time space, dt. So we are talking about the growth rate. We are talking about growth rate. The change in biomass concentration in that time space is directly proportional to the biomass concentration. Microbiologically speaking. Yeah? Or you can say the rate of change of biomass is directly proportional to the biomass concentration in the time space and then many, many other things. But for simplicity of evaluation and understanding via the language of mathematics, we just say. These are the dominant factors. Therefore, dx dt equals a constant times x. You change the operator from directly proportional to an equation. So it becomes a hope. It becomes a law. It becomes an equation. So what you're saying is the x dt is a constant represented by mu. Yes. And you give a name. As what the president says, mu is specific growth rate. What is the definition of specific growth rate? The definition of specific growth rate is the growth rate per unit population at that time. How do I know that? It is by the mathematical representation of the microbiological expression from the understanding of, of, the, of the word fermentation, which is a process that goes along a certain time frame. It is a time space domain. Fermentation is a process in a time space control environment that allows 
the microbes as the uh, main uh, player in the process to convert sugar into biomolecules for that. Example, citric acid, catabolic acid, whatever acid, and whatever uh, products of microbial metabolism. If you can see how you can speak about it. Structurally, I have in my mind map how how the connectivity should be described. And I'm going to go wrong because I am on a structural evaluation of what is it is unknown. I cannot go wrong, you see? So, when you have this, I said the integration, when you have this, That is the integration of the uh, differential equation to come up to a solution. This is the mathematical way. And you will get this. Yes, I will I will explain to you, but this is just giving you very quickly how. You can use the word, the language of the word, the language of understanding, the language of the word, the language of mathematics, three domains of science to come up with an understanding and a representation of what, what would be unknown to become known and to be able to, to give you the ability to, to play around with it. Because you get, from here you get you get you get an equation and you know this is one equation with one unknown you know mu is a specific cross rate you can measure mu graphically or empirically so you, you, you know this you know time you can fix the time and you know the biomass concentration at a particular time defined by this line. This is the exciting part of, the, of, of my work because uh, we integrate uh, the sciences, mathematics, chemistry, physics, other portions. But I add another one, which is epistemology, which is the thinking part, which is this part. Yeah. This will be uh, later on, uh, but now we have come up with the definition of fermentation and some expression of fermentation as a process that is in a certain time space domain. Because you know, in this definition, if you change the time, you change. If you change the space, you change the, the efficiency. The productivity. Yeah? So here I want to introduce you to two more two important uh, objectively verifiable indicator when you are addressing fermentation in industry, in the lab, or anywhere. Yeah? Then we take the rest.
these are two important uh, keywords. Look at that. Yield and productivity. Let's go to the yield of fermentation. What do we mean by yield? So you must define. As always, let me remind you this again and again. Whatever word you use, you must define. Whatever concept you use, you must define. You must know how to define. If other people define, no problem, but you must understand the structure of the definition. Yeah? Then you are able to relate or get yourself connected to the thinking of the one who is defining. Then you can uh, generate more uh, realization, more uh, awareness about, about it. What is it? Yeah? Uh, because, again, as a scientist, we, we, are, we are moving from domains to domains. And this is reality. You must move from here to here to here. Here you must have assumption. Here you must have perception. The perception is based on your assumption. I perceive my girlfriend to be very clever. You are making assumption, but you are making perception. Uh, he seems to know everything. He can talk about war, he can talk about America, he can talk about uh, Jaguar, which is about commerce. But when we want to talk about uh, the problems of the Turkish people post the Osmani Caliphate, he doesn't know. Yeah? Or what happened to the downfall of, uh, of, the, of, of the Osmani Caliphate? What was the Distance behind the downfall. What is the connection between Turkey and Syria now? You cannot understand because your assumption about cleverness is wrong. Your perception is based on your assumption. Then you have your opinion. Is this thing called reality? You may say it is equal to reality. It is okay, it is not crime. But you must be able to have peer review. When I submit my paper to good journals, they will send me a lot of red marks. <laughs> correction here, correction here, correction here. I am 58 years old. I'm a professor. How dare you make corrections on my university? This is not the way to go. <laughs> yeah? I say, okay, round it up. They are telling me, maybe I will see in the way that they see it for the benefit of, of, the, of the general public, then I need to be humble about it. Therefore, we have to learn we, we have to be humble enough. So go from one round, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, whatever round, as long as you feel you can go to sleep with that understand with that definition. Really, it's difficult for me to go to sleep if I make something wrong in my day. Because you are always constantly reminding yourself, making evaluation, yeah? making control, and making judgment on yourself. This is self-evaluation, self-control, self-judgment. It is very important to be a good scientists should be able to have this humility to do this to do this three step thing. Self evaluation. The Arabic word for it is you know Muhasaba. You know Muhasaba? You evaluate yourself. Whether you have done good today or not. Whether you have contributed something to you or not, whether you have contributed help to other people, to treatment. Yeah? This is self-liberation, this is Mahasabha. 
The second level is Murakama. Meaning you control your head. You want to buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, but you control yourself because this is not much like that. <laughs> but you have a husband, still you have to control yourself. Because when you buy it, you can put it in the in, 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 in a cupboard or home. You must use the thing that you buy. This is the other. This is the order. This is the knowledge of the thing. Yeah? So, self evaluation, self control, and self scrutiny, self judgment. Before people judge you, you better judge yourself. <laughs> For tomorrow, you may not be able to do So, it is encountering a problem before you die. Before you go to sleep, sleep is a small debt. You do this sort of thing, and we have a smart to, to share it with you. I have gone through a very big project today. Ah, then you say, oh, who did you talk to? Really? Ah. <laughs> you see? So, this is what I call uh, the beauty of living. We, we share it. We share it. So, okay, where are we now? Live. Uh, can we define it? We can define it. We can define it a bit. We can do that every time. You must be brave to say, yes, I can define it. What is it? I don't know. I do not know now, but I don't know who can next week. So one week you give yourself <laughs> to read the study and read the study and check with those who know. Check with the house. Check with the paper, check with the, what we have written. And you come up with a strong, clear definition. That is. We use for microorganisms or Ah, you see? There is not many questions asked. Those are the questions on the face of this uh, that you can ask. Five W's, one A. Five Y, one master. Okay, just to remember. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? When? Where? Why? Who? And how? That is all you can ask. Is it so difficult? And you can ask seven times. What is it? Blah, 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 blah. What really happened? Blah, 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 blah. What did you say happened? Really happened? Blah, 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 blah. What can be? You can ask seven times. This is what the Japanese company's uh, creative team in, uh, in Honda, in Toyota, and all this. Big, big Samsung uh, uh, ask question. Yeah? Ask the same question. Okay, sorry, you asked this now. Uh, you're asking for the definition. Yes. I'm asking you if I should be helpful to find you for the biomass, microbials, or to like you. Yes, okay. Like that, huh? Or whatever it is. Which one you need? Which one I need? I need to understand all. Sure. Yes. Then you give it a location. You can define yield by the definition of the yield to be the effectiveness of the cellular composition of the fermentation to, uh, to, to behave.
for example, if the yield y at s equals 0 0.5, that means 10 units of substrate utilized can produce 5 units of biomass. Yes? So it is 0.5. If you change time in space and your value becomes 0 0.6, that means for every 10 units of substrate utilized, you produce 6 biomass. Then you have a better implementation system in relation to the effectiveness of the micro to utilize the substrate to produce what you want to produce. In this particular case, the biomass. Then you move on to understand the production of the product. In this particular case, biobutanol. Now, what is the value of that? Can it be 0 0.5? Who said it can be 0 0.5? <laughs> Is it possible? When y x s equals 0 0.5, y x equals 0 0.5, is it possible? It is impossible. Why? Because the mathematical definition of G as the effectiveness of the cellular component of the fermentation must be less than 1.0. That is the limit. When you know the limit, you know what to do. There is no way you can be cheated by data <laughs> or by misunderstanding or by misrepresentation or by misreading. You know we are human. We can misrepresent, we can misread, we can miscommunicate, we can miss very many things because it's the fact of being human. The Arabic word for human is insan, insan means you are always changing your mind. You are easily disturbed. Uh, that is the meaning of the word insan, which is referring to man in this particular case. Do not understand. There is no way why it has equals to 0 0.5. Because it's your purpose, it's one. Then what about one yes? The amount of substrate required to produce the enzyme. What about the amount of substrate required to produce the maintenance energy of the cell? What about the amount of substrate required to produce the transport energy to move the enzyme from the enzyme positioning that you build in the cell to move into the uh, periphery of the cell and to cause the cell to come out if it's uh, Extracellular enzyme. You see how you can discuss. It's so exciting. Please share with me this excitement because I dream about it. <laughs> if you add, if you add, all those, that is the limit. There is no way There is no way for us to say the value of y x s is less than y x s. No way. Unless you change many, many structural sequences of the genome. <laughs> And even that, the microbes will be in a stressed situation. Have you seen a car that produces lots of milk? The size of the memory gland of the car is nearly half the size of the body of the car. Is that possible? Naturally, it is not possible. But if you alter, if you change, if you modify, if you regulate, if you do something, then the car is not good. But to produce big memory plan and every morning, every day, and you have to do it. Do you know that?
Yes, is between black and this. It is where you get the name. Now, if you do anything that changes the metabolism and the sequence, it will be a reduction of that space. You may be stepping up some of the blood in some of the Because milk is between blood and in the existence of milk. Okay, so you know this. There is no way with the recombinant in the top QSAs, <laughs> we can get YTS greater than what is now. Because the most important job of an organism is to survive. First, and especially so if it is producing secondary metabolites like biodiesel. It will use all the energy to survive first. Then it will have the luxury to produce whatever man needs for his excesses. <laughs> for man's excesses, microbes are willing to do whatever it takes. Because microbes are by definition has very little chance to change anything. They have no choice. Only man has a choice. It is the primordial difference between man and the rest. Okay, so next. So what is the unit of heat? No unit. No unit. <laughs> because it is a nisba. It is a percentage. No unit. Yeah? But it tells you a big story. It tells you the economy of microbial action. It's like the economy of a house. You bring in uh, 1,000 lira per month. The rent is so much, the car is so much, the petrol is so much, the eating is so much, the rent is so much. And what do you of? The wife cannot buy anything. You won't like it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? So. Productivity, so this is no normal. Because it is a nispa, it is a percentage, it is a, a comparison. Yeah? And make sure it is in the uh, uh, amount, uh, not in molarity. Molarity is not absolute measure of existence. It is a relative measure. More molarity. It is a civilian weight measure. Huh? Because Dara is in weight dimension, not volume dimension. Dara are particles, smallest than small or whatever. It is in the understanding of the existence of particles. Lastly, Productivity. Productivity, by definition, is a measure of the efficiency of the fermentation system. Listen to me. Productivity is a measure of the efficiency of the fermentation system. G is a measure of the efficiency of the cellular system, of the cells. Efficiency. Yeah? Yin has no unit because it measures the directions of the metabolism to produce X, to produce P, to produce E, to produce EM, to produce TE, to produce whatever that you do not know. Please, man, do not claim that you know something. No, you do not know. I'm very sorry, this is... <laughs> Productivity has a unit because it gives you the, the measure of time in a unit volume in a weight uh, amount. Three dimension. 
productivity amount that you get per unit volume per time. So milligram per meal per day or per hour or per one. It gives you a feeling of money. Time is in that sense of the essence, money. And it defines you the ability, it gives you the ability to choose which fermentation system, whether it is batch or fat batch or continuous fat batch or repeated fat batch or uh, continuous or continuous or whatever you like, because it is in your creativity and innovativeness to develop the fermentation system because it is defined as a process that is governed by the time space with a boundary of your choice. Have you ever heard of somebody uh, fermenting wine in a glass jar? Yes, in the village or in the hostel. <laughs> Usually they were fermenting wine in big uh, fermentation bags made of stainless steel because they want the volume and then they were measuring it in a wooden box, wooden, wooden, wooden barrel. And the nature of the barrel, the wood will give it a taste. As well as one and everything. Yeah? Have you ever uh, heard of people making yogurt using big glass vessel? No. So this boundary is your choice. That's where, in my definition of fermentation, allows you to be creative and innovative and structurally understand what you're doing to come up with your own innovation, with your own ideas, right from the bottom of your heart, that this is what I want to do. And you can evaluate yourself because I've told you how to. Okay? So, I think that will be the end of the lecture. We started at 2.30, it's about 4. It's a good, exciting time. I'm not tired, but I just have to break up for my uh, salad. Mm -hmm. Any question, please. You will be shy to ask questions, I know that. So, we can write down. Question number one, possible answer. When we, see, when we come again, we see next week for the interactive session. Then I will be able to help you uh, come to terms with your uh, with yourself and with, me, and with all of the benefits. So you will be here at the end of this uh, one plus four sessions uh, to help you come up with beautiful uh, project proposal in the framework that to be at once because. We want you to be part of our team. What is this team? It is a very beautiful association of people that are interested to share their concern about a very important aspect of the future, which is and this. And we believe sincerely that this biofuel is the answer for this concern. That's why I'd like to give you this to be up as generously offered uh, a good sum of uh, money uh, for this first phase, I heard. And for the second phase, we need to fill in the center for excellence of uh, bio uh, fuel production, and you will be on board. As those that became the, the nascent group in the industry. Yes, Jackson. Yeah, there are two questions. Uh, thank you, sir.